क्वेस्ट फाउंडेशन प्रेजेंट्स मां स्वामिनी प्रेरणा थीम ऑफ दिस करंट इशू इज चिंता तनाव हताशा आ सदीनी एक खतरनाक व्याधि चिंता तनाव अवसाद इस सदी की एक खतरनाक बीमारी एंजाइटी स्ट्रेस डिप्रेशन अ डेंजरस डिजीज ऑफ दिस सेंचुरी September October 2023 Volume number 3 Issue number 16 Above and Beyond What's in the heart of your mind Writer Dushma Kothari Where do you live If we were asked where we live we'd promptly answer the name of the locality where we are housed provided the person we are talking to is familiar with that city If the same question was asked to us if we are visiting another country we'd immediately give the name of our nationality but if we were to further zoom out we all live in our minds no matter which locality we come from or which nationality we belong to we all live in our minds we can perhaps recognize with ourselves better if we understood the nature of our minds in greater detail than understanding the nature of our countries and localities we also have a way deeper access to the house of our minds than the apartments we live in but because it's not visible by our external eyes we only show concern for that place which houses our body those who try to come in touch with the mind may start to see their emotional states commonly known as the navarasas emotions related to beauty laughter sorrow anger courage fear wonder disgust and quietness become visible accepting emotional states firstly these emotions need to be accepted as they are a property of the mind but we may often find ourselves battling between observing how these states very often take over ourselves on the one hand and ourselves trying to resist them on the other we are either positively connecting with them or negatively when one is in a state of laughter he is positively connected to it in a way that he'd want to always be in that state on the other hand when one is drawn to a state of fear he'd want to eliminate it as soon as possible and in that endeavor be negatively connected with it It is this constant struggle to want to either attach or detach with an emotional state that keeps one stressed to begin with further leading to states of anxiety if one is not able to take charge of them further leading to depressional states so more than the reason that may have caused a certain state to arise it's the desire to remain attached or detached with the feelings that it has arisen that keeps one anxious living from the heart when i meet any wise person i feel that he or she has transcended the mind at least when it comes to these emotional states to begin with because they are almost like waves sometimes these states can come suddenly and sweep over everything while sometimes they are relatively gentle that's their nature however the wise have not tried to escape any just lived and studied them all so fully that they have realized that we are actually so much bigger and fuller than all this when we live from our heart these days most of us seem to be living from our minds just like our houses have to be used mainly for shelter and security so also our minds may be used efficiently to connect with the vastness of our hearts if we remind ourselves to live completely from our hearts we can stay afloat when any wave arises be it a wave of fear or of anger or of anxiety love the vibe explore such interesting podcasts at www.questfoundation.org.in